Hey what's up everyone, how you all doing today? Welcome to episode 23 of a Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Last episode, we took on another one of the Heretic missions. Uh, kicked all their butts. Got a little bit of Blackstone, not a massive amount, but should be enough for another upgrade on our newbie here. Let's see what we can get Major's Tauf. Oh, we might. We might just be able to get two upgrades out of this. So, crit chance of movement, or a bit of extra HP. I think we'll go for a bit of extra HP at the moment. This is up to 20 now. That's not too bad. Can we get... Yeah, we can get another upgrade. Brilliant. What's this one? Restore 3 HP. Cool. So, that's going to be quite handy when we're losing a bit of damage to, to get the higher crit chance. So, we've got one augment slot free. What are we going to do with it? What are we going to do... We haven't got any more armor we can put in. We can upgrade that to ratio maybe. I'll tell you what, let's put the Coggled Kultaris on. Because this is like a one of the new items from the Heretic DLC. And this guy's going all heretic -y. Oh look, it's um it moves that arm thing into the middle. It's a bit odd, right over his head. I do like how upgrade when you get these tech priests. I mean, look how cool that is. I'll, I play Warhammer. I do have a box of Skitari, actually. I've, I've not even taken them out of the box, but this dude looks absolutely awesome. I think all of them do. And I've got all these different claws and, and arms and stuff sticking out. Let's just have a look what mission we got. I think we might do one of these earlier ones, because we've got some of these that have been stacking up for a while now. Let's just have a little look. What's that? Cognition gauge increase. Ooh. I want to do it. Yeah, let's do that. I, I, I want to try and get some of these ones gone, so we've had them for ages, but... Old Kepra here keeps on giving us missions with stuff that we want. So not only could we get a cognition gauge increase, we get a Vanguard level 3, and this is our like, most used troop unit, so this has got to be done. Uh, what we've got? Heavy Destroyer, that doesn't sound good. Cryptek Immortal Warrior, that's not too bad. No Lich Girls this time, which is nice. I'll go with the standard setup. So we're going into the Tomb of Nefutsk, or Neftusk. Neftusk. Lord Neftusk, yeah. Do you get some funky words in here? Two more diamonds here. I think we'll go up that way, come along. And we'll see if we have to do any backtracking to get that optional one done to bring our awakening down. Hopefully not, because otherwise it's going to be hard to count because it's going to go on for ages. But we've got to do what we've got to do. Scan on destroy Xeno technology. I don't know why, but I always like facing this way. So we've got two, two terminals there to scan. We've got one up here. No. So just those two. At the moment, there's no enemies. Are we going to have platforms come up in the middle there, maybe? Don't know. Don't know. We shall find out shortly. Some platforms come up in these holes. Okay, let's get some cognition, I guess. Start stacking up. 
Oh, in fact, we can get all the way around there. Probably not. I might leave this guy up here to just do some overwatch. This is like the furthest unit away from his terminal, so I think we'll just keep him there when enemies do turn up. So now we've got Minaris here, we can get straight to one of them. The platform's coming up, yeah, okay. Interesting. Thought about it, could have stabbed that before I blew it up. Got all cock points, so I was on one up. Oh, there's two there. Oh, well, we got enough guys can do that. This one, that's to collect one cock point. So let's see what happens when we scan the other terminal. I'm pretty sure this platform's going to come up now. Here we go. Is this our new unit? We're facing up against the Necron Destroyer. Pretty whopping barrel on that gun. I cannot unless you can tickle. That's that's a giggle. Enemies now. What a surprise. So let's see if we can get this cryptic first, because he has the ability to reanimate in dead enemies. We don't want the reanimation. Uh, what to say, shield us? Physical. Okay. So we'll put a cognition freedom on. Get one of these shots in there as well. That's some good damage we've got put into him already. That's brilliant. Uh, we'll stick with that for now. Correct shot. Nice. Let's see if we can finish him off with this one. Oh no, it's going to be close. Not quite. Okay, so these guys have both just got guns, so they can't really do melee combat. So we'll push up right next to one. That means we'll get the uh, opportunity attack from him. Units, we don't have any of Cool. I'm down already. That's good. We've only got one enemy up over here, so we definitely need to come back over this way. Uh, what have we got quick? Okay, we've got cognition freedom, we've got a few cog points. So I think we'll use our Volkite Blaster here. Get our producer on. Put the energy air enhancers on for an extra little bit of damage. I 
think we're okay for units on the field at the moment. It's just going to be six damage, it's not too bad. I thought it was going to be more, judging by the size of that gun. Plenty of cognition. Still going to just take it a little bit chilled. Okay, energy shield. Well, luckily, this guy's a gun that I'm pretty sure of it anyway. Bypasses shields, yeah. Ignores all armor. So we'll get that on. Full seven, brilliant. What's this thing here? Oh, that's just to restore 3 HP. We don't need to worry about that. I think we're going to push him right into melee combat. Just engage that guy. We haven't even got an axe on this guy. I've overlooked that, haven't I? Oh well, we've still got this guy locked in. Which isn't bad, that's what we wanted. Nobody's just going to get an opportunity attack anymore. But you have to remember that for the next episode. Definitely give him an axe. Right, how do we play this? Can that get both of them? Yes, it can. Uh, let's put that on there. Get our power field generator going. Bit of extra physical damage. Physical, what was that? Six for free physical. So we've got more chance of doing damage to this. Oh, we're machine spirit charged though. Yeah, I think we'll attack this guy. Oh, I guess this is going to kill him. Brilliant. I was just hoping not some of his armor away. There we go. Won't argue with that at all. Get two cognition back. Rolling in the cognition points. Let's use some more. Why isn't that gonna do damage to him as well? Do I have to move? Yeah, there we go. Is that gonna make up the difference? There we go, move him one time, made all that difference. Gonna get all three of them now. Okay, leave him there. That's cool. Brilliant. I think that means we've only got two more enemies up. Unless some more of these platforms mysteriously come up from nowhere. Um, let's start to get a little bit of a shot on that terminal. We've only got one little bar on our awakening, but if we can keep it down as low as possible, then it's good. I'm going to have lost a little bit more damage before we try and heal up there, I think. We haven't got a pokey stick with this dude. Come on, this guy's got lots of health. He's going to be there for a little while. Okay, so how do we play this? We'll just get in there. What shield did he have? Was it energy? Yeah, I think we'll just get into the close combat. Eight damage, that's brilliant. Should be dead now? Yep. Dead. I wonder if he can reach. Yes, he can. I'll get that gone. I'm kind of hoping we can finish this guy off here. Should we go there, get a little bit of cognition on our way. Oh, there we go. 
go in. Is that it? All done? Yep. That's cool. First team cleared. We're on zero. A bizarre sight greets the cohort in this chamber. Hundreds of miniature Necron warriors, each no taller than a man's finger, standing on dozens of shells built into the walls. They are detailed enough to represent specific units and individuals among the Necron leadership. That's like they're, they're actually playing 40k, isn't it? Right, do we collect? Take some of the odd miniature Necrons. They might at least be useful for study. Destroy. Destroy what is obviously a shrine the Necrons made to themselves. What a loop. Search the chamber for something that might give meaning to this strange discovery. Don't want to destroy. Probably not going to get anything out of that. Loot is interesting. Collect could also be interesting. Might give us an idea on the different hierarchical structures or something. Yeah, I'm going to go for collect. The cohort pockets a few of the small figures. Though they are destined to end up curious in the possession of some tech priest, they can in the meantime provide new examples of Necron war forms for the databanks of the Adeptus Mechanicus. They've got a bit of extra blackstone, so that's not too bad now, is it? A series of raised pedestals topped with transparent containers display a number of Necron machines, rendered in miniature in intricate metal and stone. They include the transport vehicles, the Astra Militarum of the nickname Ghost Arcs, and the mobile monoliths that drift across distant battlefields. Steel. Take as many of the strange models as possible. Select. Take only the sculptures of vehicles not widely known from mankind's previous contact with the Necrons. Or smash. More icons built by the Necrons to themselves. Destroy all. I think we try and take as many as possible, we might weigh ourselves down a bit possibly. Let's go for select. The cohort carefully selects only the strange and unknown vehicles. Unfortunately, this interest soon turns into an unhealthy fascination, and it is only with effort they are able to tear their eyes away from what are rapidly becoming objects of dangerously intense desire. Whatever power these artifacts hold, it is best they are left behind after all. Good job we didn't try and get all of them then, isn't it? So that's not our awakening up all the way to one. That's still not bad, really. We've got a green one, cool. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Boom. Oh. I didn't really need that, oh well. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aged sealant used to contain the treasure within. Let's get into this next room. Cool, kill all enemies. So what's going on here? We've got multiple deployment areas. So I don't want that guy in the zone. There's three over here all together. So let's give these guys someone for backup. I think we'll get cracking there. So not only have we got these um, shield generating internal things, but we've got the turret guns there. So this guy can technically move wherever he wants and no one's going to be able to see him. How tempting it would be to walk right into the middle of all of that. Still don't know if I want to. He's lost a little bit of health, but this is Tauf, isn't it? So we want him to be down on health, so he's getting extra damage. It's real feel by itself. Got 
no axe, is he? Keep moving into melee combat. Idiot. I might heal him up a little bit. Since he's in the middle of a right old cluster of enemies there. Let's just give... Oh, in fact, we can use this one. He's only going to heal two. We don't really want him fully healed. So we want some damage off him to get the extra damage. But we want him to at least be able to survive a couple of attacks at least. Yeah, maybe we should have healed him a bit more. <laughs> Alright, so Minarius. So this guy's got two guns that can deal damage to more than one enemy at a time. So I definitely want to get him up in here. Raising the helm. Let's just see, that's going to miss that guy by like one square. So we'll move him up just one. Ignition freedom on, power field generator, get all the extra damage we can. And immolate him with fire. Come on, that was good. Is that a nice healthy bit of damage? Can we get a few guys with this as well? We certainly can. Before we do that, let's just get some cognition back. Off again. Yeah, nice. You yeah, some good damage down there. So let's use it. Oh, that did good, didn't it? Knocked him back. Okay, I think that's good. Just that one mission point. Is there any way of just one? I oh, that one's got two. I think another one of our guys can collect both with one source, so we'll just hold fire on that. Get a bubble up, some little bit of protection. That bubble definitely didn't last one round there, did it? Let's take this guy around the back and try and sneak in from this end. Let me see. See how that guy is. Yep, let's use that one. I think we've got a stabby stick. Yeah, we've got a commission stick here. Get the CP back. Troop unit, troop unit. There we go. Thought we had one somewhere. That's all good. That just collects one. All troops in range. Damage. Brilliant. Okay, 
Okay, this is the other guy that can collect all the cold points. Let's do just that. Said that guy to. Oh, I could have put my NGO enhancers on. Bomb. It's okay, we've got another gun we can shoot him with here. So he's got the physical armor. So we want to use the energy attack. 10 damage. Smashed him. Start nibbling the script tech now. Oh! Not just nibbled him, we've nobbled him. He's gone. Brilliant. This is what we've got left. We've just got this destroyer. Is that an immortal and a warrior? Just three of them left to go. Awesome. See. See, that one's only going to do one to three damage, right? Let's shoot this guy. There we go, that worked good. He did. He did. Brilliant. One left to go. Ah, oh, had to speak soon then, didn't I? damage, that's not too bad. No, don't need any troops, we're definitely okay right now. heal him so he's ready for the next next round. I still leave him not on full health hopefully. Let's have a look. Yeah he's still still a few down so he's still gonna be doing a bit of extra damage. I'm just gonna use a little bit of CP to get that body gone as well. Clear the way for the other chaps a bit. Push forward up one here and just get this one cognition. Can he actually move there now? Why can't he move there? What's in oh is that that one there's blocking away? Okay, let's get him out of the way. Poke him out of the way. So if we can try and get these two enemies done pretty promptly, we're going to get away of getting out of here with just one awakening. And this guy's got four physical armor on him, so that flamer wasn't going to have done much damage to him, but he's going to do the burn tick damage over a couple of rounds, just in case this guy doesn't last that long. Gonna have a bit of damage going into him. Can't see him from there. Okay. Do we have cognition freedom? No, we don't. Well, we've got some CP. Get on back here. 
just get him in there for the melee combat. I know we're not going to kill him, but when he moves away, he's going to get two opportunity attacks against him, and that's going to do the business. I think so anyway. Let's have a look. There we go. Second one got him. So we've just got this cryptic down here to worry about. Um, just in case we kill him, we'll go here. Kill some of the guys up. Shielding away, the armor keeps on shielding. Yep, cool with that. Let's heal him. I know it's using our last cognition. Oh, I really want to go into this uh, the last encounter. Guys on full health, well, as many of them on full health as possible. These two are still down. But we'll be all good. Cool, we're doing alright so far. So that's two encounters. We're still within one awakening. The chamber ahead contains not the model of the tomb complex the cohort seeks, but a large relief map of a section of ground rendered in great detail. It appears covered in depictions of ruins and barricades. Flip the table. Get the rage quit on the go. Destroy the map. It might be a strategic tool the Necrons are using and should be put beyond their use. Consecrate the table. Sanctify the map to the ominous eye, destroying any corruptive influence this strange artifact might have. Or search the table. Examine the map. Perhaps it charts a location somewhere in the tomb. We're going to go with that. Various miniature ruins and other details appear to be movable, as if a map is made to be configured differently, it seems, then, but it does not represent a specific real place, but is purely conjectural. The cohort take a few of the pieces of miniature topography, but are left otherwise baffled as to the subject's purpose. Is it just me, or is the grammar in those commas a little bit funky? Right, we're still only on the one. So we're just going to get straight into this last encounter. Wonderful. Scan or destroy. This is a pretty condensed map. Guys with max health at the front, guys that have lost some at the back. Definitely get our back off going. It's not like these guys are going to be able to move very far. However, I think I'm right in thinking you can shoot through these little force fields. They're not the, the solid barriers. What we've seen on other maps. Well, these doors are glowy, so we may have some enemies try and come out of them. Just gotta be aware of that. Oh, there we go. You definitely can shoot through there. So let's see if we can get Minaris here at an angle and hopefully he can cover as many of these as possible fire so that's getting free that's getting free can we smidge the fourth in there no 
That'll do. It's getting three units. It's getting one of the little shield generators. Because that's not going to be able to reach, I don't think. No, out range. Okay. Is there anywhere else for cognition? No. Okay. Be nice if I could have Leonardus next, please. That'd be really nice. Please. Oh yeah. It listened to me. So I want to get his bubble up. Choice. He's got an energy shield. Okay, let's put our reducer on. Shoot the other guy. Maybe he's got a physical shield. That's a bit better for us right now. Let's put the bubble on before I forget. We'll use that too much cognition. Um, let's heal everyone. battle ahead. Keep working this guy, he's got the physical armor on him rather than the energy. There's one down. Oh, we can give that to our troop, can't we? Buff the troop unit. There we go. Okay, so energy air enhances. Big guy gone. Boom. Nice. Deals one damage, gets rid of it before the cryptic has a chance to reanimate him. I really hate the cryptics for that. If I'd have put him there, I'm pretty sure this is our first guy. He wouldn't have been able to get through. We have to delay him. You've got to be careful about that sometimes. You don't block off routes for your own guys. Double attack on this one. Freedom! Troops are all right. Thank you. Okay, so this one here bypasses armor. So let's definitely walk in with that. And cozy up. Oh, I was going to say cozy up next time an axe in. Again, this guy doesn't have an axe. Definitely need to sort that out. Oh, blimey. There's a whopper of a shot. Okay, before we do that, let's get with the cognition stick. Get two back. And then free with spending doesn't seem as bad now. Well, 
that also means that we should have enough. Oh yeah, and that's going to get all of them. So that will disappear. Do a bit more damage to those three. Pokey stick, we got a little stabby stick. Yeah. The mech and dendrite. Cool, only two guys left. But we definitely have to get rid of them to get to that terminal. Sunshine. Okay, a lot of energy armor. There we go. Last encounter. Let's get some canticles in there. Oh, 15. Loads of damage. Brilliant. Yeah, we can't actually get to the terminal until that guy moves. Must eliminate him. Now, I know he's got the big energy shield, but this is machine spirit shard, so I'm hoping it's going to do one or two, maybe. Yeah. Oh well. Worth a four. Terminal. See what it wants from us now. Is that it? Surely not. There we go. I was going to say, that'd be a bit too good to be true. Oh, that's cool though. We don't have to kill them all, just escape. Okay, dokes. Opportunity. Opportunity. Solid. Got enough cognition to make the full push for all of these guys. But I would like to get them all at the very least inside this barrier. So get him engaged in melee combat. Where's our troop unit? Troop unit's there. He's only got one HP, he's gonna die soon, so let's make the most of him. on that. Who's this, this guy? Okay. We already used our physical one. Yeah, it's the energy one we've got left. Keep him there. Get the opportunity to attack when it arises. Uh, if I move him away, he's just going to get smattered. He's going to have to stay there. Is that it? He's the last one to go. Oh, it's going to come back. Bum holes. Services in just to help these guys this side of the barrier a little bit. Is that Vanguard's gonna die? Or send the lean to can still shoot through here, so that's something. 
And it's not like one round is going to knock our awakening up, so it's not the end of the world right now. If anything, it's going to give us a bit of time to kill some more of his enemies. That should get us a few more points. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. So we've got three terminals here with the cognition on. freedom boy but let's just do it well Leonardo's up here holding it down against three of them Hey, burn damage for the win. You sir need to get down here. I think I need to heal him. Yeah. He need some good healing. What's this guy on then? We got nine. Two on the energy shielding. One cognition from there. That's it. Still got quick tech up here. He can still reanimate these guys, so I've got to be quite wary of that. Right, so he's now safe. No more cognition to claim. And he's got full health, so he's all fine. Hey, freedom again. Cognition. We do have cognition stick for this chap, so let's just poke on out of there quick. Came out of the way so the others could get in there. And use our free shot just to get rid of that body. So we have a servo skull as well. No, we don't. Probably should heal, saving the black stone. So 
this guy can just straight up get right in there. Before we do, let's just grab a little bit more of this on the way. Okay, we don't have all that. See, I can't pick up any cognition from anywhere who's got a pokey stick. Right, let's just get him in there. That will leave us with one, which hopefully should be enough to get the other guy in. Oh, I want to heal though. Really good, was, yeah, a couple of them are low health. Okay, rather than healing me, let's heal everyone. Pretty sure we're still going to be able to. Yeah, we go. Make that move without spending one. There it is. That's quite a result there, I think. That's three encounters done. Got it under an hour. Awakening's under three. Get over two in a bit. Brilliant. Mission complete. The cohort locates the chamber with the scale model of the tomb complex. It is too large and elaborate to be transported out of the tomb so they take a thorough picked record of its every detail. Neftusk's reasons for building it remain obscure, but the Adeptus Mechanicus now possess a valuable guide to the full extent of the tombs on Silver Tenebris. Result. Cool. Got more healed up just in time. How much of a good stuff we're going to earn today? It's not too bad. It's about 500 up there. Got our cognition gauge increased, and we have got a level 3 Vanguard, which is absolutely baller. Up to 49% on the awakening. Scratching on the door of halfway. So let's have a look to see if we can. Oh no, the stupid box is up. Let's see if we can get out of there. About this. What is that? I hate this box that pops up. Well, we'll see at the next one whether that guy's got, um, what, what upgrades this guy's got. Now, before I forget, because I know I'm going to forget before the next episode, I'm going to do one of my upgrades here and give this guy an axe. Um, we're not going to do, yeah, we can do this one, just not give him the actual armor yet. One free slot. So we need an axe that's only got one augment slot. So that's one deals two to four. That's one that's three to five. Let's do that. Not the best axe, but it is an axe. So it's going to do something. So there we go, guys. We'll wrap it up there. Hope you've enjoyed that episode. Please leave us a like and a subscribe if you did. Leaving some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, take care. Enjoy the rest of your day.